to a new weekly video. Today I am going to show you my favorites of the month of February. Apologies in advance if my voice does come and go a little. I'm just having, after having tonsillitis so it's sometimes just disappearing and I'm going to just do something. There we go. That might be better. There we go. Um, I don't. I feel like I don't have as much favorites this month and I was wondering why first because I usually have my in my little planner I have a list and throughout the month every time I think of something I need to put in the video I just write it down and because when I'm filming this is the first of March I put favorites March because it's today and I'm so excited it's March and the spring is coming anyway I'm diverting so um, there's a lot of things there that I can't physically show you because they are not physical stuff and I had a little think about what I wanted to do with the favorite of the month video because I feel like sometimes there are those things which I also didn't like that month and I kind of feel like I would like to talk about them but I also want to include like memories of that month that I really like, things I love to do so I'm kind of thinking of doing maybe like a monthly roundup video where I talk about the things I liked, the things I didn't like and kind of what I remember of that month kind of so a bit of what I was doing but including more, more stuff <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work out but I've kind of included a little bit of that in this video, so you probably will understand what I mean. The first thing is this top I am wearing. So it's from Evans and it has like a v-neck. It's exactly the same at the back and then it's like, I think you call that pin tuck? It's like all gathered there and then it goes out and, uh, sorry, it's very hard to show there. Um, um, if I can find it, if it's still available on the website, I'll find a picture of the full top and include it there. Um, <coughs> I bought this um, in Evans about two weeks ago and I absolutely love this top. Now it was a bit more than I would usually spend on a t-shirt. I think it was £24 or so. It was definitely over 20 between 20 and £25. I'm not a person who likes to spend a lot of money on clothes apart from having a few items that were spent a bit more. And I know like when you think about it, £25 for a t-shirt is not that bad but it's just a t-shirt, you know, there's nothing that special about it. It's just a jersey t-shirt, but I really, really liked it. It's very cozy, and I hope it will hold its shape well. But I liked everything about it, so that's what I got. And the next thing, which is actually the only other physical thing I can show you this month, and you're going to have to <laughs> forgive me for having it not ironed. It's literally out of the tumble dryer. If you watch the vlog, you've seen this. It's a dungaree dress. It's not ironed at all, so it's a dungaree dress. Like and then but it's a skater skirt so whenever my friend Sam was over from France earlier this month um, <clears throat> which I will go back to in a minute we went for a shopping day and during that day I tried a lot of dungarees on but most of them are like it's like a straight skirt and because as you may know I'm I'm like an orangina bottle I'm narrow at the top and I have very big hips and bum and like my lower half is much bigger so straight skirts if i if they fitted my hips the top was massive um i either have too many hips too much hips for the size of my boobs or not enough boobs for the size of my hips whichever way we want to see it but proportion wise it wasn't working so every time i buy dresses it's always a skater skirt because otherwise it just can't fit around my hips and it has to be wide enough so it can fit me on top and then go out to accommodate my larger lower half let's say um <clears throat> Couldn't find any in town. I tried all the shops we could see there and I really wanted dungarees. When I was a teenager, I used to wear dungarees all the time. Now the trousers one and I had several and I used to like draw, like paint on them and have loads of different things done. When I look at them now, I'm like, oh, that wasn't very nice, but I was always wearing them. So I was in Sainsbury's one day and I just saw from the corner of my eye, jungly dresses went over and they were skater skirts and I was like woohoo uh, unfortunately they didn't have my size in stock uh, so I ordered them I ordered these online and I received them and I was thinking please fit please fit and they fit perfectly they are so comfy and I love them full price they were 20 pounds and I got them for 15 pounds which is a bargain if like and they are super cozy they wash really well, that's always my test. I did wash and tumble dry them, because you can tumble dry them, which is a massive bonus for me. Um, and they did wash super well, they didn't lose their shape, the color is still there. Uh, so yeah, I'm very pleased with them. I They are not too thick, so you can actually wear them 
um, all year round because in the winter you can really layer it with like tights and jump underneath and all that in the summer and I, I, I could see myself wearing it in France with just a vest underneath um, I'm so happy about it yesterday I went on the website because I was actually ready to buy a second one uh, and one I could uh, add embroideries on like I could do myself and the other one just leave plain they're out of stock <laughs> I'm gonna keep an eye on it just in case I get them back and every time I go past the Sainsbury's I will go in and try and see if they have my size so yeah, that's my Sainsbury's dungarees. Um, next thing is a movie. And it's the Lego Batman movie. We went to see it with Owen and we decided to get actually minded so we could all enjoy it because I don't know who was the most excited between James, uh, Owen and I to go and see it. We all loved it. Um, James is a very geeky person. I do have a very prominent geeky side to me. And Owen is like is, is a nerd. No, I love geeks and nerds and all these. So I am not saying that in a bad way. <coughs> and we were very much satisfied <laughs> when it was to me. It was very funny. I absolutely loved it. There were so many references to the old movies that made James and I laugh. Owen didn't get them, but it didn't matter. So whether you're an adult or a child, I think there's something for everyone in the movie. And it was just brilliant. So yeah, well done, Lego Batman people. You've done a great job. The next things are two TV shows. One is one that I hadn't watched before because it's the first season that was out. Uh, it's been out for longer, but I, I never got around to watch it until now. It's the OA. Um, I don't want to give too much. I, I find it's a really hard movie to describe. A uh, movie. It's a really hard TV show to describe. When people ask me what is it about, and it's hard to describe without giving away too much and I don't want to spoil it in case you haven't seen it it's it, and even when you've seen it it's just really really hard to describe if you've watched it and you can find a way to describe this show to a person who hasn't seen it without revealing too much please let me know but yeah I'm just gonna give you the start of it it's the story of a girl who has dis disappeared years and years before who just suddenly reappears in like rip years and um <coughs> yeah and when she's being asked what's your name she replies i'm the oa i'm gonna stop it there it is a it's not for everyone it's one of these shows that probably a lot of people will either hate or love and i had read before the reason why i hadn't watched it before is because i had seen a lot of things online where people were saying it's a brilliant show until you see the end and then it's rubbish. And I was like, why? Like, why is that? And I wanted to make myself my own opinion. And I'm glad I didn't listen to that because I actually found the ending genius. So just watch it if you haven't. It's really worth it. It's a bit weird, but it's really worth it. Next show, and this is not a new show I've watched, but it's a show that is back on in Space Motel. I'm so happy. I love this show so much. Um, this is a show which, <coughs> now, I'm terrified of horror movies and thrillers and stuff like that, but I find it very interesting to understand how did a, a, a crazy killer come to become this. Does this make sense? Sorry, I'm trying to make it, <laughs> to, to put words on how I feel about that. Um, this, um, this shows you how Norman Bates became to be the Norman Bates house we knew it before this show. And I just find it really interesting. I was very curious to see how they would bring the fifth season, which is going to be the last one, because we were getting to the point in the show where it was catching up in time with the movie and I was worried that they would pretend people haven't seen the movie now you don't need to have seen the movie to be able to understand but I was worried that it would be like oh no surprises because I've seen it and I know what's gonna happen everything that you kind of learn in the movie at the end of the movie so far has been done in the first episode so it's, it's been done in a very clever way if you have <laughs> I haven't seen any, probably wondering what I'm on about, but it's a fantastic show. The actors in it are just 
absolutely amazing like it's just ridiculous the roles they can play I just yeah I just find it really really good I'm I don't watch it just before I go to bed because I get I'm very prone to nightmares and it's not scary as such but there are some scenes that can be disturbing for people so if you are very sensitive to people getting killed and things like that just a little warning for you because there are some people being killed it's not super graphic so far but you do have some of those kind of scenes so just so you know the last thing i wish i could show you because that would make me very happy but i can't because it's a person and he lives in paris and that's my best friend sam now it's not a new favorite obviously he's been a favorite of my life for probably almost 20 years and um in case you haven't seen the vlog this is sam and me about two years ago maybe almost it was maybe three years in the summer i don't know it was in my parents house in the summer quite a few years ago but um he sent me this it's one of my favorite pictures of us and he sent me this with a little note at the back uh so um it's like a positive uh memory generator <laughs> as he called it uh with a little note and it's something i have on one of the boards there on it's like my it's a board above my desk where i put like i have pictures of people i love and things that motivate me and make me happy it's like a happy board and this is on it um and i love this picture so anyway um the reason why i want to include this in there is because if i think of what has been the highlight of february and this is what i'm saying i want to add more to those videos this is what i'm talking about the highlight of this month has been him coming over to see me uh he only came for three days uh because he had to go back to work after and they were amazing three days and when i think of this month that's kind of the main thing i remember uh, i haven't seen him for over a year and i was missing him so much we do speak a lot and we skype a lot and all that but um we used to spend a lot of time together when i was still living in france before he moved for studying and then i moved away and it's just been hard to whenever you're very very close to somebody uh some there's moments in life uh which can be good or bad but it's really hard to deal with the distance with these people because sometimes you just want to hug and you can see the person on skype but you can't get a hug <laughs> really and uh lately i just felt a lot like i needed a hug and um james can give amazing hugs and all that but um james is my husband and he's my one of my best friends too obviously but um sometimes you just need a friend to, like, with just a friend <laughs> you know i don't want this to sound bad but i'm sure you will know what i mean and i was missing him a lot and when he said to me he could come over for a few days i was just oh my god i'm so happy um the boys really enjoyed having him too because he plays the guitar and he sings we used to sing together and um they love to have music around the house and he just brings a lot of happiness into the house when he's there so he's completely mental and i love him for that uh so yeah that's been one of the great things uh, that happened it was followed by a little bit of few days of feeling miserable because he had left and i was gonna miss him but fingers crossed i should see him in the summer when we go to france if all goes to plan so we shall see um so that's it for this month i hope you liked it please let me know what you thought do you think about the idea of adding to you know like things i didn't like and all there wasn't anything i really didn't like this month i have to say um so yeah i'm i'm only going to include that when there's something i really don't like i don't believe in complaining about stuff when there's nothing to complain about <coughs> but if there's ever like any products or anything i try that i don't like i will um mention them then so that's it i hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet please subscribe to my channel you can also hit the little bell button beside the subscribe button this way you're notified whenever i upload new videos but uh, as a general rule i upload four videos a week on mondays wednesdays thursdays and saturdays and three of these are vlogs of our daily life and one of these are videos like this where i just like lifestyle videos about whatever i feel like doing at that point <laughs> i'll see you in the next video bye